The midsection here is inch per rev, pretty much the same programs except for the thread mill and the toroidal. I'll be working on those next for the inches per rev. Uh, various calculations if you want to do just RPM by itself or surface feet by itself. But let's go into circular interpolation. And we'll go into internal circular interpolation. And you'll see the diagram here showing the end mill inside of a circle. Or this could be a pocket in a corner. But what it's going to do is you're going to slow your feed rate down a certain percentage. And it's based off of the ratio of the end mill compared to the ratio of the radius or corner you're going to put in there. So let's go to a uh, cutter diameter, we'll say of an uh, inch and a quarter. And the internal circular diameter is six inches. And we can do this by feed per tooth or inch per minute. So if you went by five thousandths per tooth, or if you went, let's just say, 34 inches a minute, we can calculate and you're going to get the four, five thousandths per rev, I'm sorry, five thousandths per tooth to go to four thousandths per tooth and at 34 inches we slowed down to almost 27. This is to calculate going slower in here because you're engaging more of the cut. Okay now the thing with external is be just the opposite. A chip thinning factor comes into play where you actually need to speed it up just like you would in chip thinning but like I said do not use with chip thinning or you're going to start double dipping your figures and go really fast. 